In this set of video tutorial, we are going to talk about uh, one of the uh, amazing features provided by Excel is this, that is sort. Now, when you look at sort, as the word says, you know, you want to sort this data in a particular order. So, uh, in, in doing so, it is uh, further enabling us to get uh, deeper insights about the data which we are using. Say, for example, this data here which we have in terms of our case study. Uh, this is the data that we have and if you look at this data very closely uh, you'll find uh, employees come from different departments different genders they have different salaries and they are not in any particular order so let's say if we want to sort this data out uh, depending on uh, specific criteria or conditions say for example uh, to start with I want to sort this data by name all uh, in alphabetical orders so uh, since this table is not sorted we need to kind of sort that out. So in this way we can use sort function. So I'll just demonstrate how it can be used. The first thing that we have to do is we need to select the whole table on which we want to perform a sort depending on a condition. So the condition which I am using as of now is to sort the names by alphabetical order. So once I have selected this table like this, click on sort so when we click on sort you will find that there is a sort dialog box that opens up so when we click on this button sort by you will find that it asks us for different kinds of options sort by name sort by department gender monthly salaries annual salaries taxes so all the headings are essentially uh, identified automatically by the sort function so let me sort them by name and uh, what kind of sort it should be uh, for us it should be a sort by value because we have not have had different kinds of uh, color combinations for different fonts you can let's say if if uh, a specific cell was colored in red you could have actually sorted by that as well so however in our case values is what we will kind of choose the order should it be Z to A or A to Z so I'll here choose A to Z and click OK so the moment I do that you may notice that all your names get sorted automatically and the other thing that also happens is the corresponding entries which um, are related to the respective sort also gets updated automatically so if I quickly do an undo in order to show you what has happened so uh, let me show you Aaron which comes on the top Aaron is a marketing professional he's a male and his monthly salary is $8,700 and uh, his percentage total annual salary is 9.14 so let me perform a sort again in order to check that the corresponding entries also get sorted as far as uh, the sort goes so let's click on sort and I click on name value A to Z and we click OK and now uh, let's check for Aaron Aaron is a marketing professional male his salary is the same as we uh, just saw $8,700 and his percentage annual salary was 9.14 uh, as a total salary so looks like this table gets updated automatically so it it can provide you a very systematic way of uh, looking at your data or having a fresh perspective on the data maybe you know alphabetical names is not making sense you may like to uh, kind of sort your uh, uh, data by maybe annual salaries so, so let's let's try and do that and see if that is making sense click on sort instead choose annual salaries and in this annual salary you will find it is prompting us from smallest to largest or largest to smallest let's say I want the largest on the top and smallest at the bottom so I do that and I click OK so as you can see the annual salaries the the professionals who have higher annual annual salaries are on the top and the lowers are the at the bottom so it provides you a schematic way of uh, doing deeper analysis and you can make uh, the more uh, efficient way of uh, using uh, sorts